The roar of the engines and the power of the boats were evident on the water for the fourth race day of the year. Vice President of the Power Boats Association, Anthony Scott, believes that the sport is on the right track following the year's loss to the COVID pandemic. It's been picking up a lot, especially as we came out of COVID. A lot of people did, did work on their boats over the years and then they have some that sat down. So as the season has progressed, more boats have come out. Um, and then as you're seeing here today as well, the sponsors are then jumping on board. We have Mobile on track with us for this event, but then we have NLCB and Onboard Shipping and Logistics who are season sponsors and CFL Shipping as well. So they are handling us for the season. And with the main event, the Trinidad and Tobago Great Race, just two months away, President of the TTPBA, John Fantadi, says they can always do with additional sponsorship, but adds preparations are on track. Great race is coming along. We're looking forward to getting a little bit more uh, corporate buy-in for uh, sponsors and so on, because of course without sponsors, they can't have any great race, right? So uh, we have the Ministry of Sport. We're looking forward to their support, THA, and hopefully one, two other corporate sponsors are going to jump on board to help us pull this event off. Um, but so far, from a logistics standpoint, everything is flowing smoothly and progressing well. And what are your thoughts on the power boat season to date? This season has been shaping up to be a very nice one. Uh, boats are coming out and we have a lot of big stuff planned. The final regatta is going to be back here at Casters Cove on the 15th of July, which is going to be a Saturday and we're looking to have a nice little grand finale. So you'll find a, a lot more little entertainment stuff coming in that you know, is going to help make it a really, really nice event. The, the idea is to give a nice grand finale to the national championship season, after which we could then go for the, the great race show um, and you know, pull that one off. In winner's row this past weekend, Mr. Solo took the 130 mile per hour class, Iron Man the 120 mile per hour class, Outlaw the 80 mile per hour class, Extreme Measures the 70 mile per hour class, Trident 2 the 60 mile per hour class, Arrow the S class, and Remedy the 50 mile per hour class. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.